The future of Elon Musk's boring company is pretty bright, especially when you see what the company does with the mud and boring bricks, sellable boring bricks. Hotcar says the boring company is likely to prove a necessary part of the upcoming changes to transportation infrastructure. And in this report, I'm going to tell you about that. Elon Musk wants to use the excess amount of dirt that is coming out of the bore while boring to make sellable bricks that could function in a multitude of applications. Welcome back, dear friends. This is Armin Haryan from torquenews.com. If you are here first time, welcome. Please subscribe to our channel and also please uh, like this uh, report if you find it informative and send us an applause, please, if you that is next to the like button if you would like to support us. Mark's Mark Polonizers, Elon Musk, founded the Boring Company in 2016. The electric car manufacturer uh, CEO saw the company trend of tunnel development as the future and started the Boring Company to get ahead of the trend and help facilitate um, the, the future. Over the years, the Boring Company has come up with outlandish marketing ploys for uh, publicity and ultimately raised uh, capital for its largest scale project in the pipeline. One of those items being the not a uh, flamethrower, which was discontinued after 20,000 units. The Boring Company is likely to prove a necessary part of the upcoming changes to transportation infrastructure. Let's take a look at some of the most interesting aspects of the Boring Company with Queen Artec of Hot Cars. Artec says the Boring Company based in Hartford, California is a drilling and tunneling company. We know that. The company uses heavy drill and uh, mining machinery to bore tunnels underground. The main purpose of the company is to bore holes in the earth to connect a network of underground pipelines. This soon to be vast network is aiming toward a major, much needed update to modern travel and transportation, especially underground transportation to tackle traffic. Compared to the national highway system, cross country railroads and planes, the Boring Company hopes to bring a safer, more efficient and personalized approach to travel. Whether it is in your own car for shorter distances in the proposed loop system or in the hyperloop for larger distances, the Boring Company has a new way of getting from point A to point B. The proposed network of underground tunnels is something they hope to bring to major cities like Los Angeles and Las Vegas, where traffic can be a nightmare. In fact, Los Angeles has uh, seven out of 10 top traffic uh, highways and roads in the nation. The proposed tunnel network has many applications that could potentially solve a range of problems associated with the current travel landscape. Um, Currently on BoringCompany.com, there is a video showcasing their latest advancement. The video shows two cars on a trip to the same uh, destination, SpaceX's headquarters. The only difference is the way they get there. The two vehicles are Teslas, of course, and affixed to the top of each video feed is a timer. One takes the standard way of driving we know today. This includes taking the streets, driving through stop and go traffic, stop, uh, stopping at light stoplights, waiting for pedestrians and everything else that comes with driving in the city. The second video feed, however, follows an identical Tesla Model 3 as it takes the Boring Company's latest development, a short underground tunnel connecting two company plants. We follow the Model 3 as it takes the elevator underground, files through the tunnel with no obstacles and gets to its destination in record time. At the end of the tunnel, the car is then raised by another elevator to the ground. The car then drives off and parks, awaiting the arrival of the other Model 3 that took the traditional streets. Friends, the time difference is something that is 
hard to ignore, especially since this was shot in real time and the driver of the Model 3 that took the underground Boring Company's tunnel not only bet the other driver, but had time to spare. The first driver to arrive uh, sat on a bench and had lunch and a coffee all before the second Model 3 arrived. Looking at this time-saving tech on a small scale is astounding, and maximizing that effect to cover more cities and larger scale cross-country travel will be an interesting feat. The boring companies' tunnels are so cheap that they pay for themselves. As a boring or digging company, there is one thing that are guaranteed to have an excessive amount of uh, uh, to have an ex excessive amount of that's dirt i'm not going to say that other companies need dirt and you can sell them or so but according to elon most tunneling companies have trucks remove and replace the dirt stone and out in the facility that translates to about 15 percent of overall production costs not very cost effective so musk's solution is to make that ground up dirt into sellable bricks that could function in a multitude of applications. In true Elon Musk's fashion, the boring brick is actually better than standard bricks in every way, including costs. Not only is the boring brick sustainably produced, eco-friendly, stronger and more durable than your standard brick, but it is also a fraction of the price. The cherry on top is that if bricks are needed for affordable housing, the boring company is willing to offer them for free. That's even more interesting, right? Not satisfied with the way the first bricks from the process came out, Elon Musk ended up giving away the first batch of 500 bricks to the employees working on them. The value, of course, went for upwards of $200 due to the fact that they are incredibly rare. This is what the Boring Company is doing. The Boring Company in 2018 held a press conference revealing an example of what the company is capable of. The press conference was the company's first live demonstration of the new technology they have been working on. The conference convinced Las Vegas officials of the advantages and the boring company scored a contract with Las Vegas. The deal included building a tunnel network connecting the Las Vegas Convention Center, since this is the most highly trafficked area before this virus thing. Although things have slowed, the boring company is still drilling away. Other contracts in place include building tunnel network with the state of California, and there was even one long project to connect Las Vegas with uh, Los Angeles. Some proposed tunneling strategies include in New York City to Washington, D.C., and possibly Texas as well. News broke just a few weeks ago of a proposal Ontario International Airport tunnel connecting to Rancho Cucamonga Metrolink in California. The four-mile tunnel would connect Metrolink's busiest line to the nation's fastest-growing airport of the last three years. Elon Musk recently, actually more recently, Elon Musk met with Miami officials for a proposed solution to the growing transportation of metro area. Mayors of both Miami and Fort Lauderdale initially met with the Boring Company in California to witness their advancements firsthand. The Boring Company then headed to Florida to evaluate what was possible there. The Florida mayors are both optimistic about the proposed solutions and are working with the Boring Company to help bring their cities into a new age of transportation. In fact, they tweeted about that, they talked about that. In fact, Torque News has a report on that.
Let me know, friends, what you think about this. I'm very much enthusiastic about the future of Boring Company, the new way of transportation, and also I'm very much excited about these bricks that they can sell, especially if they can give free for uh, affordable housing. This is a good thing to do. This is Armin Haryan from TorqueNews.com. Please subscribe to our channel, join our community, join our conversations. We have very high quality uh, conversations under each news story. And uh, if you would like to support this channel, uh, please give us uh, send us an upload. If this was informative report, you can see the upload button next to the like button. And uh, please give us thumbs up. That will help us to put this video in front of more people who are interested in renewable ways of energy and that transition. Have a great day. God bless you, everyone. Peace be with all of you. See you soon.